Yo, good afternoon guys. Yeah, it is already 7 minutes to 3 o'clock. I just got home. Uh, today I work from uh, 6 o'clock and finish at uh, 2 o'clock. You know, I'm cooking the rice. I have the uh, leftover from yesterday. And this is the one that I cooked last night. So I'm just going to reheat it. I'm going to eat this one leftover. No need to reheat. Yeah, we are now here in uh, Salomon Derby Shopping Square. Yeah, I'm going to Kmart. I work from uh, 6 o'clock and I finish uh, yeah, 2 o'clock. And the time now is actually 2.44. Yeah, I have been sitting in the car deciding and I finally decided I am going to buy the microwave oven from Kmart, the cheap one. If you've seen it a uh, while previous days, it's a uh, $49. And you know, from time to time, I come here in the children's section to check for the pants. Yeah, this actually is a pit on me. Yeah, this is actually my size <laughs> here in the children's section, but I don't like the design. The one that I have, if you remember, the same color like this. Yeah, but that's already broken my ones i basically don't buy a microwave oven yet because i'm also looking for the good quality one yeah but good quality is expensive i'm actually looking at the one in hardy norman because they have all the you know the top brands of microwave ovens but yeah they are expensive 289 349 and the cheapest they have is 169 179 yeah very big difference if you compare to this uh, one in Kmart it's just uh, $49 I think uh, the same features what I need is just the basic features of the microwave so yeah I'm going to get this one I noticed that it actually sells a lot yeah because the last time that I was here it was uh, up to this level but now only this one level one layer so I'm going to get this one so oh, this is actually a little bit heavy that's why I stop here for a little bit okay and now I am tempted to eat in that uh, Thai restaurant but I think they are closed yeah I don't want to waste my time going there I believe they are closed I'm going back inside but this time I'm going to Woolworths oh look at this yeah, this is 50% uh, off today. This is the jasmine rice. Yeah, the, the brand is... Uh, uh, so basically, usually I'm getting this one. This 5kg Woolworth jasmine rice. It's $14. And this one, the sunrise one, is actually... $24 regular price this time it's just uh, $12 5 kg I'm getting this one and I'm getting this one uh, red curry this is just $3.80 I'm also getting one of this uh, coconut milk this is just uh, 95 cents a half of that and I'm also getting this uh, potato yeah, this is just uh, two dollars fifty. And the total of this is at uh, twenty-five dollars and ten cents. It's broken. It's not strong enough. Look at that. It's in the events like that. We feel shy situation like that is uh, shameful <laughs> what's that embarrassing yeah that's the word embarrassing but it's actually not embarrassing because it's a natural thing what is embarrassing is the bad thing that you do if you're not doing anything wrong or anything bad especially bad there's nothing to be embarrassed that is actually easy to say but yeah easy to say it is now already 
We have four, ten. Twenty eight is still early. Before opening that, I am going to cook my meal first. And if you remember last time, I cooked a uh, butter chicken, and it's actually here in the freezer. I'm going to boil first the potato. While doing this, let me remove this uh, microwave. No, I don't know where to put this uh, microwave. Temporarily, I will keep you there. That's it. I think it's ready to use. Actually, to be able to plug in this microwave, I need to move this up bridge. Okay, it's on now. Oh no, there is clock. Yeah, I need to read the manual. to set up the time so basically you just uh, press the clock and then press the time the numbers until you get the time in the previous days I was using that microwave oven but I make sure to unplug it after using yeah because it's dangerous to use that kind of a broken microwave also I would like to say thank you to mr. Michael for uh, yeah reminding me that it is dangerous to use that microwave yeah, this is not something that I like. <laughs> I'll be more happy if this microwave is on my bun. Hopefully this fridge will keep on working while I'm still here in the house. While I am still living in this apartment. Yeah, this is too expensive for me to buy a new one. Okay, it's time to eat. I put too much the water. I should not put water. Yeah, I regret putting water. It should be just the coconut milk and the Thai grade curry. And actually, I did not put any seasoning because it's already salty. Yeah, the red curry paste. Yo, good afternoon, guys. Yeah, I just finished my duty and I go straight here in. Uh, yeah, Albora Marina and actually Porsure. The name of this place is the Porsure Nelson Bay Porsure <laughs> F O R S H O R E because the Albora Marina is that one. I start at 6 today and I finish at 2 o'clock. I did breakfast, it was me and Dibina who did breakfast, and Dibina was very busy. She's preparing a lot of high tea, 30 people. You know, these flowers is similar to those in Dubai. Yeah, like a... Uh, yeah, in Dubai, they remove it and plant it again and remove it. That's how they do it in Dubai. I think it's the same in here. And there are many tourist bus this time. Yeah. For sure, those people, those tourists are at the moment in the sea. They are cruising there watching uh, dolphins i'm just going to do a little bit of walk around the area i'm not going to do kind of uh, exercise or like push up chin ups look at that bun i like that actually it's australian defense ambulance yeah you know this morning there was a heavy rain yeah when i was going to work it was raining heavy and then during my break time i was surprised that yeah, there was no rain. Actually, the surface is dry. Oh, look at this. I don't know if this is still uh, work. Oh, no. They close also. The good thing is there are other new shops in here. Look at those trees. Doesn't have any leaves. The water is really clear. Yeah, you can really see the bottom down there. Yeah, there are kids there. They are fishing. 
each of them is having their own uh, yeah, fishing rod look at that there are so many fish here maybe they don't see it there <laughs> maybe this fish knows that there are uh, people fishing on that side yeah they are here that's actually the new south wales water police yeah This is good yeah if you notice this restaurant yeah it was closed for a long time but I think they are uh, open again yeah so basically they closed for a long time because of the landslide that was happened here uh, maybe two or three years ago yeah nice they are open again yeah the name is uh, Bay Harbor Cafe yeah nice that's good and there are some people here they are fishing yeah she's keep on recording because there is uh yeah dolphins yeah just here <laughs> it's going to show you again later but we're not going to wait for that look at that there is one uh, pelican <laughs> and yeah there are some people there they are fishing actually all the way to the end of the GT of the breakwater and yeah in here there is the name of the legal bugs and size limit for saltwater species there are so many kinds of them and there is a heavy penalties applied for breaches of regulation yeah here in australia you need a license if you want to do kind of fishing like that dolphins 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 you see that very nice we are back here in the marina yeah so basically they are the tourists they cruise around the sea and if you want to do that you just come here and pay at that uh, booking office it's about 35 dollars or 43 hours uh, trip oh let me show you this there is another uh, model of a uh, Volkswagen transporter here yeah similar to my van but this one is a uh, beach model yes yeah, so basically the roof of that can be lip and can be like an extended uh, roof yeah very nice i saw in the website and it's uh, beautiful and as you walk down here you're going to see some of these we see humpback minke false killer and southern right whales in forty steep ends. there are some more here dolphins often hunt fish by herding them into shallow water dolphins are called the wobare in warimi aboriginal language very nice lots of information if you're going to walk oh very nice there is a mother and daughter they are fishing nice usually it's father and son fishing but yeah that they, they are mom and daughter oh actually maybe they are family that is the father and son and the mother daughter <laughs> and then in there there is another family fishing two little kids and the uh, parents very nice Look at those birds they are just uh, flying around scattered everywhere for sure they are looking to the water uh, hunting fish we are back here in the car the time now is at uh, 3.09 I'm thinking of uh, going to that side but I still need to do the laundry so yeah we go home and you know yesterday I didn't able to vlog because uh, yeah after work 2 o'clock I come straight here and then I lay down on the bed and I pull asleep. Yeah. And and then I did my uh, computer works. And in the night around uh, 7 o'clock, yeah, there is a lady knock on the window. And I get out and she's asking me if it is, if it is okay to sleep here. I said, uh, I'm not sure but I sometimes see, see people uh, camper van here 
yeah and then I said to them if you want a little bit private I can show you where and then I guide them to go to that area and the beach area yeah they are family they said uh, they just come here for one night and they don't want to spend to spend money in the hotel they they sleep in the car yeah I said to them that I do the same yeah whenever I go to Sydney I usually sleep here in the car <laughs>